Hi, this is Richard Byrne for freetechforteachers.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the advanced Google search features that I think every student and teacher should be aware of. So we're going to start out doing a simple search here. Uh, we'll just do a quick search for Civil War. And, you know, Google kind of knows where I am, so they're assuming that I'm looking for American Civil War. And I want to open up this advanced search panel. So over here on the right hand side, I'll use this little gear icon and select advanced search. And we're going to take a look at the first tool that I think students should be aware of. And that is to search by reading level. So as we scroll down towards the bottom here, we have a reading level index. And we can annotate results with reading levels or show only basic, intermediate, or advanced results. Let's take a look at what this looks like when I click on annotate results with reading levels. So now I do my advanced search. And we can see here a little graph of our breakdown of results. And let's go ahead and select on basic. And so now all our sites are in that basic reading level category. It can be helpful for students who are looking for materials that are suitable for their uh, their reading skill. Okay, so now we're going to go back into our advanced search panel and let's this time search for site or domain. So we're going to refine our search by site or domain. And In this case I'm going to do .k12.me.us and I'm going to do that because that, this is going to pull up results that are from school districts in the state of Maine. Uh, you could also do k12.nc.us or whatever state you happen to live in. Uh, and this will work for any top level domain. You could do a .org search, a .edu search, a country search like a .ca for Canada. But we're going to do .k12.me.us. And we could combine this with the reading level results. I'm not going to do that in this case. And do our advanced search. And here we are with our .k12.me.us results. And the reason that I show this to students is so that they can find what other teachers in the state are sharing and also what other uh, students are sharing online from their school. And the third search feature that we're going to take a look at here, again in our advanced search panel, third feature we're going to take a look at is searching by file type. So I want to pull up, let's say, PowerPoint files about the Civil War. And I want to find some that are labeled for reuse. So under my usage rights, I'll say free to use or share and do our advanced search. And so now we're pulling up just PowerPoint files that are labeled for reuse, free to use or share. Uh, this is kind of a small list because a lot of people who post their PowerPoints online don't explicitly label them uh, with a Creative Commons license or a license for reuse. So perhaps I'll go back and say not filtered by license and I'll have a lot more results, but again we need to have that conversation with our students about uh, fair use and copyright and uh, explain to them why they can't just download one of these files and pass that off as their own PowerPoint presentation. So those are three advanced search tools that I think every student and teacher should at least be aware of if they're not already using them. 